All right, so the last step, uh, if we do have a skin character, which we do in this scenario, we have a, a skinned rig over here. Uh, if we want to assign the UVs from this one onto that one, without it coming up in the history stack, it's pretty easy to do uh, with just a couple of steps. We actually just need to assign it to the original shape node. So uh, the way you do that is you s probably easiest just to select the tweak node here in the channel box and then go edit, select node because the original node is actually connected to that tweak node. Now that we've got that, we can actually open up the node editor and if you have my hotkeys, you can just hit Alt 4 and that will bring this up. Um, there's the face shape original that we need. But to do that manually, you can just go to the window and bring up the node editor and then just hit upstream and downstream, input and output connections, sorry. And that's doing exactly the same thing. So now we've got our face shape original. So it's gonna be called something like shape original based on what your actual mesh is called. So that's actually your mesh. That's the tweak uh, node here. Uh, but we've actually got this other one, sh face shape original, which is a, a copy of our original mesh that Maya sort of hides from us. So all we have to do is select that now and go control A and we can come over here down to object display and then tick off immediate object. And you'll see that it actually uh, sort of shows us a wireframe view of it in the viewport. Now this still does not make it sort of viewable in the, in the attribute editor very much, I don't believe, but um, actually maybe it does. Uh, not really sure, maybe if we put in uh, shape nodes and stuff, but it's not really that much of a big deal. Uh, that will just um, and allow us to assign things to this now. So the next step is simply to select our original mesh with the UVs on it. And then we need to shift select uh, this one. Now I have a bit of troubles in the node that are shift selecting stuff. So the way that I do it is just drag and drop it from uh, the outliner. We can bring that is our actual UV'd face, not our, not our original mesh. That's actually our UV'd mesh. Shift select now the face shape original and we're going to transfer the UVs as we did before. So this time we bring up mesh, transfer attributes, option box. Now all we really need to do is uh, change that to local and hit apply. Now this will create a whole bunch of new nodes. Uh, but essentially what it's doing is it's actually putting UVs now on our original face shape node, which is exactly what we want. Once that's there, we now have real UVs on our object. So we can select that and actually not on the face shape itself, you'll notice it now has UVs as well, but the face shape original, we can go edit, delete by type history. So Alt D if you're on my keyboard shortcuts. And that's essentially done the whole process. Now, the last thing we need to do is just get rid of this wireframe sort of mesh that's appearing in our viewport and hide that again by clicking on immediate object. Uh, there we go. So now what you can see is if we close everything down here uh, We can see that we have our UVs here on our old mesh But now also on our skin mesh uh, we have nice UVs now I can come in here and you can see in our history stack We do not have a transfer nodes uh, Attribute which is uh, really nice and it means that uh, our mesh is kept really clean So that's the way to uh, transfer UVs onto a skin mesh nice and cleanly. Uh, I hope you find that useful. So uh, just to finish off, we can bring this back into viewpoint, viewpoint one, uh, unhide our lights and all that sort of stuff. We could even uh, delete our UV mesh here if we wanted to in our group. Uh, and we now have a mesh with nice UVs on it, uh, ready for uh, rigging and animation or it's already rigged and animated. So uh, you can now send that to Mudbox or something for texturing.